Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Code Veronica Year with Morris. At the end of the last part, we just stumbled upon some secret, like, lab. Well, not so much a lab, but some guy was, uh, kind of going, wow, that's a camera angle. That's a camera angle. Some, uh, yeah, some, some crazy guy was like, hey, I'm doing all these experiments, and I hope no one finds out about them, but I'm going to write about them anyway, just in case. Body bags are piled up here. So we're looking for some kind of shit. Don't you dare. Don't you god that I knew I knew there was something funny about that camera angle. Sorry. But you don't Jesus. You don't put camera angles like that in a game and not have funny things going on with them. Oh jeez, oh jeez, auto aim, please. Three, four. There we go. I don't know what's in there, although it looks kinda tiny compared to everything else, so. Who knows, maybe it's not that much of an enemy. Is there someone walking towards me? Yeah. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> I guess he was on fire, so that weakened him a little bit. Ooh, bullets. We're getting a steady supply of bullets here. Which I'm happy about, because I seem to be using a hell of a lot. Aha, what do we have here? Another case. I can probably open it straight away, actually. Seems we already have the lockpick. Oh ho ho! Gun parts. The M93R. That's exactly what we're using as well. Oh yes, yeah, son. Probably shouldn't use this, since it burns through ammo. But whatever. There is a strangely shaped chair. What was the point of coming here? <laughs> By the way, <laughs> was it just for the gun parts? I was kind of maybe thinking there's a key item here. It's a sturdy, well-made chain. Handcuffs attached to an end. Oh, kinky. Maybe not. Alrighty, well, I guess I'm going to, uh... Oh, crap. A heartbeat again. Really? Oh, I can't believe this game does this so many times. Kind of takes the sting out of it, although I am a bit tense here. We can just run past whatever it is, right? How bad could it possibly be? Run! Just go! Oh, my God. That's it. Regular zombie? Oh shit. Whoa, 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 ho, hey, ho, this guy's got a pace on, this guy's got a pace on. Woo! Boss zombie. Boss zombie, ladies and gentlemen. Now he's dead. Great. <laughs> oh, and he has a key item. Cool. Take the glass eye, absolutely. You know what? We probably don't even need to kill that other guy. We just jam the eye straight in here. Aha! Secret entrance! Excellent. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that that maybe would be something. Whoa. Oh no, not bats. Bats are the worst. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> Damn it. Bats are my sworn enemy in this game. <laughs> oh, jeez. More enemies. Oh, you can actually single shot with this. Although it's a little difficult. I thought it was all about the burst fire. Apparently not. Okay, you know that guy's dead. Oh, there are more enemies in this game than any other <laughs> ever made. They take a hell of a lot of damage as well. Just wail on this guy. Oh, there's more there's more uh, arrows there as well. Sweet! Okay, we gotta remember not to combine those. We <laughs> make some explosives. There appears to be an old water mill. I see. So what does that mean? There is a lot going on in this room. <laughs> More handgun bullets. 
I guess it's sort of half compensating by giving me, you know, with the enemies, by giving me a lot of bullets here. Strange devices are on display here. God, where am I in relation to everything else? I'm nowhere. Good. <laughs> Great, that explains nothing. So this is a door, I believe. I wonder what weird device this was used for. Hmm. Oh my. Oh my. Well, this does not look good. I, re I thought I was in a basement already, but there's another level. <laughs> Wow, this immediately again reminds me of a of a Resi One area. Where you gotta push the statue, I think it's a statue, on top of like these little grate things which release gas. I don't know whether it's laziness or whether that it's like a little tribute, but it seems to be more laziness. <laughs> the stone statue is holding some armor. Stone statue is holding a helmet. The stone statue is holding a rusted sword. No, I don't really want to take it, because I get the feeling that this does a thing. Holding a shield. So can I push it or not? Hmm. I know, it's just those grates just uh, really strikes me that something bad is going to happen here. can't seem to push it either, so... Alright, I guess we'll take it. Oh, God. What am I gonna do? Just push it? Great. <laughs> oh, my. Push it again. There we go. Look at the sword. Can we not wield it? <laughs> it's just not a weapon. Oh, there we go. It's rusted and cannot be used as a weapon. Hey, they thought of everything. <laughs> this statue is made of iron. There's a hole in its chest. Oh, I guess we use the sword. Oh, Jesus. I knew it. Ugh. Wait, what was the point of that? Maybe I need the sword again. Or maybe there's something else in there, I don't know. I should have known it would come out and kill me. Oh, there's a thing. Ah, the piano roll. Well, we know where that goes. I was gonna say, coming down here for all that would have been a bit of a waste of time. <laughs> ah, well, that is... That is progress, guys. I'm happy with that one. Anything else around here? A thick curtain has been dropped down. Wow, this is a weird area. It's almost like he was putting on a... Wait, what is this? I wonder what this weird device was used for. But it seems like I can go in there. On the map, it's got like a... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. I figured it did. <laughs> I thought it had a little, uh, <clears throat> a little passageway, but apparently not. Yeah, nothing to do there, either. Oh, well, I guess we got everything. I am more than happy to leave this area right now. Don't kill me, bats. Oh, there's a herb. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Yes. And it's green, not red. God damn it. It'll do. Ah, <sighs> does seem like we're making progress, but I gotta say, I feel like I'm only just surviving by the skin of my teeth. Seriously. Oh, I guess that's what survival horror is about. Oh, come on, really? They respawned? You 
got oh, you gotta be joking me. All of them have respawned. What a joke that is. Oh, why would you auto aim over there? Come on, Claire. <sighs> in fact, you know what? I'm gonna leave that there, just in case. Just in case I have to come back that way. <laughs> and they respawn again. Guess I better use that. Oh god. Can I not just get a catch a break here? I'm guessing the answer is no. Oh, I can climb. I can climb onto this for no reason. Whoa, that's a weird item box location, but okay. Also, how come I can hear a guy? Uh, ooh, here we go. Bogan powder. Plus bogan arrows equals... Whoa! That's... that's... What the hell is that? <laughs> it's got a little thing next to it. Does that mean it, like, explosive tipped? Oh, combined with gunpowder. Gunpowder arrows, I see. Oh my god, I got 30 of them. That's awesome. Still doesn't explain the position of this... Oh, here we go. I was gonna say, that's a little bit of a weird area to put a, an item box. Why can I hear dudes? <laughs> okay, so this leads back into that save room. It's all coming together. I remember being told you come back here, actually. So... Yeah, we sent an email to Leon a while ago, didn't we? <laughs> so does that mean I can get... Was there some stuff I left in here? I'm sure I left some, like, grenade rounds or something. Yeah, like, ages ago. Oh my god, gas rounds, ink ribbons, it's all coming together. Is there a dude in here? No, cool. I don't think I'll be using this machine again. And I guess I would have already... Oh, here we go, here we go, lads. Flame rounds, it's all coming together now. <laughs> I'm amazed I'm still using this pistol. Guess just for completion's sake, we'll leave it all intact here. No use leaving the alarms on. Alrighty. You know what, I think I'm gonna save it. <laughs> it's been a while. I should be able to get back. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's face it, I'm already on like rank D for saves, so. <laughs> Alright, so let's put all these like grenade rounds and things back. And then I guess we'll uh we'll actually we'll keep the gunpowder arrows. Put the first aid spray back. We'll grab a herb. Excellent news. Now I feel confident in the bogan. <laughs> we have 30 of them. That's awesome. That's going to make getting back a lot easier. Alrighty. So we have the uh, that piano roll thing. So. I'm thinking... Back to the palace, back to that room upstairs. Piano roll will probably give me the second, like, bug gem thing. Back through the other end of the palace, put the two gems in. Bada bing, we'll be done. Alrighty, sounds good to me, guys. Well, I gotta pause it for now, though. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Code Veronica, and please do join me for the next one, guys. That's why I could hear people. <laughs> and I'll see you in a bit. See you later.